hello everyone uh, now in the last video just saw that we wrote uh, this entire function for preposing the text and this entire function just basically does that this eight steps that we want to pre-process in our the entire data set so this function has been implemented with this keeping in mind that these number of steps now let's continue from the next one now we just need to call this function now for calling the function we'll just create a text empty text now we'll create for t in data text uh, this should be in commas and okay colon and in underscore text we'll just dot uh dot up pen and we'll just pass on the text dot cleaner cleaner the function that we just created with every value and we'll even pass the value of c now let's just run it uh just run this function now just pre-processing the text converting everything that we need we're just going to take some time because it has to apply all these steps for each row so obviously it's going to take some time so let's just wait till this till it's get over so I'm just pausing the video and let's just wait when it gets finished. Okay, it's already got finished. Okay. Now let's look at the five first five process reviews. For looking the top five rules, we just need to do the underscore text and just need to pass the top five rules. Now these are the top five rules that you can see. It has been fetched. Now let's again call the function for the clean summary part that we want to look and for t in data we just want to look for the summary part that summary column that we have in our data set. So we'll again okay oh sorry summary dot append text underscore cleaner t comma one comma one now let's run it again I think it's going to take some time and again if you want to look for the top 10 preprocessed text, we'll just obtain the summary and we'll pass on the value till 10. Now it has been run. Now we just press this. Now this is the top 10 summary which is cleaned with any not HTML tags and everything. All, uh, all followed the same steps that we did. Uh, defined here with eliminate punctuations and special characters remove any text inside the parentheses and all this all steps that has been taken and the result has been shown now what we do now we'll just take the cleaned underscore text and we'll just equate with the clean underscore txt data summary and we'll just take this these values into clean summary values we'll just shift press enter all right shift press enter okay now what i want to do next is i need to the data set might be containing some empty rows so i just need to drop it so uh not to drop it i'll do replace with them In p dot nan in place equals to tr true and data dot drop n a axis equals to zero in place equals to true 
Oh, sorry. Oh, the gap with the P. Oh, now let's run it. Shift plus enter. Now it will. Now what we'll do is understand the distribution of the sequences. So here we will analyze the length of the reviews and the summary to get an overall idea about the distribution of length of the text and this will help us to fix the maximum length of the sequence problem. So for even though for visualizing, as we all know, we just need matplot, matplotlib, which is one of the most best library for visualizing in Python for visualizing purpose dot by plot as plp. Now I'll just define text word underscore count. I'll just equate zero summary underscore word underscore count i'll again the empty list now i'll want to populate the list with the sentence list sentence length so i will do is like for i in data i'll just take the clean text that you just clean text it has given me and in this particular loop i'll just want text underscore word score count dot if print the length of i dot split function and now right in this i'll do the same uh, process for uh, what you say clean summary that we just summary Again, I'll just do summary. Okay, this count spelling has been written wrong. Hmm. Word the score count. Okay. And what I'll just put to do append length i dot split the values. Now next finally I want to Take a uh, variable length dot pdf len g th underscore df. What I'll do is create a data frame in which I'll take the text values. Okay, it should be inside the parentheses, and I'll take the populated with the word count that we just took. And for summary, summary. I'll just populate it with the summary underscore word count. Oh, sorry. Word score count. Now let's just length underscore tf dot his because I want to plot the histograms and the number of bins I need to specify. I am just specifying a random number. Let's take 30. And finally, in order to show this, now when I run this, shift the center, and now you can see it has been populated. So interesting, we can fix the maximum length of the summary to 8. And since that's into the majority summary length, because most of the thing is like inside this between 0 to 10, let's take 8. And let's understand, now let us understand the proportion of length of summaries below, below 8, that loop which follows below it. Now just take, consider only those. Now for that, just take random C and D as equals to 0. For I in data, Clean underscore summary. Okay. Problem. So I'm just going to specify if length is basically i dot split for each word. The length and the space that we are considering should be less than or equal to 8. 8. Okay, and if it is, so we'll just increase the count value. So c equal to c and t plus one and we'll just print the value of c and t divided by len 
data for the clean summary. Okay. Now when I run it, so now you can see it's 0 0.9425. Okay, this is the value we're getting it. So from this, we can observe that 94% of the summaries have length below 8. So we can fix the maximum length of summary to 8. And now let us fix the maximum uh, length of the review to 30. So for that, we just do max dot text underscore length equals to 30. And max underscore summary underscore length equals to Eight. So these are the value that we need considering. So value plus shift plus enter. So now let us select the reviews and summary so the length falls between below or equal to the max text length or the max summary length. So we we'll just consider the values which are falls below or equal to these these two values. So for that we just need to type in this code text equals to np dot array because we are dealing with arrays. That's why we took help from numpy and we'll consider the for the clean text now for clean underscore summary okay just wait clea no, okay just to np dot array again we are doing the values for Clean underscore summary. Now we just need to implement short underscore text equals to empty bracket. Short underscore summary should also be as taken as the empty string. For i in range, I'll just take length of for the clean text because I am just concerned with the clean text here so for that if length equals length of clean summary for the ith value dot split splitting everything into different words should be less than equal to max underscore summary because we are only concerned with the value which and and simultaneously because it has to be less than the value of that we also between for clean text so for that we just take text again the value of i dot split again the value should be less than equals to max of text underscore length now this is the entire function that we need to follow and if it follows this what we want to do is take short underscore text dot append underscore text the value of i and again short underscore summary dot append for underscore summary summary for the value of now finally we'll do is df equals to pt dot data frame we'll just take a value text short underscore text comma for summary we'll take the value to short assign the value to short summary now let's run the code shift plus enter cannot as run so remember to add the start and end special token at the beginning and end of the summary so here I've chosen source stock and EOS stock as start and end tokens. So we need to note that be sure that chosen special tokens never applied in the summary that you need to keep in mind. The chosen special tokens never appear in the summary. So for that, we'll just do 
summary equals to df summary now we'll use the make use of apply function and we will even use the lambda function if you might be aware of how lambda function does it just applies the same thing to your each thing so i'll just implement s o s t o k value and i'll just add plus value with the with the u stock value e o s t o k so you need to keep this in mind i need to run this now because i forgot to put add marks now when i run this so this is what now what we are going to do is like we are getting closer to the model building part so before that we need to split our data set into a training and validation set and as usual we will use the 90 percent of data set as the training data and evaluate the perform performance on the remaining 10 percent of the holdout set so for that we just do from sk learn dot model underscore selection we will import train underscore test underscore split this might everyone be aware of now we will take random values x underscore val for validation y underscore tr for the train label set and pi underscore val for the validation test set train underscore test underscore split we just pass on the value and p dot array and inside it we just want to consider the value of the text column now so what you can do let me just fill on the codes we just might be able to understand clear okay now we just took for the text data and here we added np dot array for the summary column and test size we have specified 0 0.1 because we only want the 10 percent of the data to be considered as test state random state specifies that uh every time we do the value should not get repeated and we will in, uh, say shuffle equals true because every time this statement is run uh, the new set of uh, rows uh, the the 10 percent of that i'll be chosen from the entire set gets changed every time as you might be knowing that the 10 percent rows are basic whenever the statement is run so any of the arbitrary 10 percent rows has been considered so we'll just run this piece of code okay so now test sentence now what the next step is basically preparing a tokenizer and perhaps from this preparing this tokenizer we can start again from the next video because this video is again getting a bit lengthy so yeah let's just see you in the next video thank you